To my beautiful and amazing royals of Africa, Mbolo Mbolwani, my dear people, this welcome. This is your queen, Queen Ningon, second of the name, 17 generation crown queen of the Fang and of the diasporan African. My dear people, thank you once again for following me here. If you follow me over here, you must be either a royal or a big fan or someone really in search of the truth. So if you are looking for something they never taught you in school or in church, you are in the right place. When you study uh, our spirituality, like for example, they have us go through the rite of passage, you know, from a young girl to uh, a young woman and it's from age 14 until all the way to 17 foremost. So we are taught these things. We are taught to treat sex with a lot of care because there's so much that we can lose just playing around with it. I mean, we can get destroyed so much easily. So my dear Royal, what are we talking about today? Today we are going to complete part three of our previous class which the title is Understanding the Bantu Man and the Bantu Woman Sexuality. Okay, so where did we start last time? So I remember where I stopped, I was telling you, my dear daughters, that the reason why our mothers tell us not to sleep around is, is because sex for us is alchemy. So we covered, my dear children, in part two, that the woman's vagina on, in the spirit realm is spiritual value, is spiritual function, it represents the throne, the throne on Zambe, the throne that makes you king. Not only is re it's referred to as the throne, but also it's a place where after the praise and the worship comes thundering, all right, comes lightning, comes voices. Then not only letting us know that down there it's a palace, it's a luxurious place, but on top of that they are telling us that it's a place of high voltage. When we talk about thundering, thundering and lightning, it's a mystical place where forces, weapons, spiritual weapons, entities meet. My ladies, not only you provide the man with the wealth, that's what your gold is about. When they tap into your gold, they're sucking you dry from your wealth. But also, you have your guards there. Now that they have become one with you, remember, whomever comes and mess with us, become a yeah. In heaven, we have a king. Okay, Tatan Zambe is our king in heaven. And Maman Dombe is our queen in heaven. Okay, so on earth as above, so below. On earth, our men are our kings. That's why in our culture, we are trained to literally worship them. Because they need that. It's part of their being. The need to be worshipped, respected, cared for. Our elders tells us that that's what gets his phallus up. Because... That's the most powerful creative energy they have, is their sexual energy. So you find what gets his phallus up and give him more of that. If it's respect, give him respect. If it's peace, give him peace. If it's sex, give him sex. We are trained to give them what they want. So there could be that roof above us. So there could be that provider and there could be that protector. What we give to them in the spirit realm, they give it back to us in the physical realm. So you see, we depend on one another. That's why when they want to destroy a community, they pin the man against the woman. They have the man do the worst thing to the woman. You know, keep your body pure so you can purify him. You're the one who gives him that shot of confidence. You're the one who gives him that roar in him by praising him. His fathers go up and his self-worth, everything goes up. Now, when he goes out in the world, he can roar. He won't meow, he will roar 